Are you a little attracted to somebody at the workplace? I've got some tips for you, both psychological and legal. Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh for Local Now, and I am here for you. I am a specialist in the science of love, the biological, psychological, and social aspects of love. And workplace romances are definitely part of the social aspect of love. So you would think in this kind of post Me Too movement time that people would just stay away from falling in love at the office. But there was recent research published in Harvard Business Review and 40% of respondents said that they had dated somebody from work. 30% said they'd even had a one night stand from somebody at work. Now here's the good news. Almost 50% of office romances turned into marriage. So why do people meet and mate at the office? Partly it's because of proximity. Absence doesn't make the heart grow fonder. Proximity, seeing somebody on a regular basis makes the heart grow fonder. And also shared values, shared identity as you work in a place together. So it's gonna happen. Let's talk about how to do it legally and with less heartbreak and psychological strife. First of all, make sure you find out about your company's romance policies. Almost every company has it now. It may include uh, that you must declare and let human resources know that you're in a relationship. It may provide provisions for what happens when there's a breakup, if somebody has to leave a job or be moved to another department. But you must be aware of whatever the policy is. They may even have a policy that says you can't date anybody from work. Secondly, from a legal standpoint, do not date an underling. Even if that underling is in a different department, if you have any power over their paycheck, even by being friends with their boss, you are setting yourself up for a sexual harassment lawsuit. Third, expect attention. I know you want to keep your relationship a secret, but people talk. They love to spread rumors, so I promise you, you won't be able to keep it a secret. People will know. And with that said, let's talk about how you're going to behave in the workplace. No kissing, no hugging, no touching. This is not a display of affection place. Just get your work done. And speaking of getting your work done, you would think that because you now have a best friend at work that your productivity would go up but research shows the opposite is true. When you start dating somebody at the office, you have longer lingering lunches, you spend more time at the water cooler, you're giggling at your desk on the phone and texting. Stop it, focus on your work. And finally, I know this is a little bit morbid, but plan the breakup at the beginning because the problems in workplace romances never happen during the hot and heavy early stages. They always happen during the breakup phase. So discuss between the two of you what the plan is in the event of a breakup. Is one person going to leave their job? Are they going to be asked to be transferred to another department? Can the two of you still work together when there might be some feelings of animosity? But anyway, 50% of you are gonna get married, according to the research. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me anywhere on my social media, which is at Dr. Wendy Walsh. Thanks for watching here on Local Now. We'll see you next time.